So I was walking to Target from the gym today. Along my walk, I happened across, I feel really bad, somebody dropped this game, brand new, just took the packaging off of it. It was just chilling on the side of the road by the railroad track. Merry Christmas, <laughs> kind of fitting. So I wanted to open up this vlog by letting you guys know my new goals. My new goals. Matt, what are my new goals? Something with lifting things, right? Yes. I'm so excited, you guys. So. Y'all know that I like to lift heavy. Really, it was only a matter of time until I started training for powerlifting. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, my coach is working on a powerlifting program for me to start this week. I hadn't planned on this week being a rest week, but I, with all the Christmas stuff going on, I didn't work out Saturday or Sunday. And then I just took the next few days off and now here it is Wednesday. And I just taught cycle, but I still didn't lift. And so I'm gonna be coming into this program like brand new and fresh. And I'm so excited to be starting this. I don't know details of when I'm gonna compete um, or where. Of course, I'm gonna be keeping you guys in the loop about it. This is all so new to me. And I'm gonna have to relearn all of these lifts to make sure that I'm doing them properly. Any powerlifting advice that you guys have, if even any of you guys are powerlifters or have experience with it, please leave it below. Love to have the help. I'm gonna get stronger than you. All right. <laughs> but then I'm gonna be all like hefty on the wall. Hefty, hefty, hefty. <laughs> so that's the new goal, you guys. I'm so excited. I guess I'm gonna start a new series. I guess this is the beginning of the new series. Dang, that means I need to come up with a name for it. Obviously, once this video is posted, I'm gonna come up with a name. So insert name here. So I taught my second cycle class today at noon. And since it's my rest week, that's all I did today. And uh, I showed up and looked in the binder. So every week, whenever, or every time you teach, you write your name, you know, who taught and then how many people attended so they can keep an eye on attendance and adjust as needed. And so I looked at the Wednesday cycle class for the last week and there were two people that showed up. So I was like, okay, my hopes are not set high for today's cycle class. Well, nine people ended up showing up. So I was like super pumped about that many people showing up and I was like, let's do this. I was so pumped about the workout that I pushed really, really hard while I was teaching. If you've never taught a cycle class or group fitness class, let me just tell you that it's 10 times harder to do that class while talking and pretending that you are not tired. So I was like about halfway through the class, I was like, oh shit, like if I, pass out. Who in here knows CPR? <laughs> Luckily, one of the personal trainers was in there, so it's like, okay, he has to know. I'm going to freshen up and shower, make my lunch because it's three o'clock and I'm starving. We're going to the rock gym tonight, so we will see you guys at lunch because I'm gonna show you what I'm um, having. This is just a bunch of romaine lettuce, a little bit of spinach on the bottom here, half a block of scrambled tofu with seasoning, spinach, nutritional yeast, garbanzo beans, half a cup of those. That comes out to be 38 carbs, 10 fat, 37 protein, and 14 grams of fiber. And John Cena. Ooh, and tonight's dinner, we've got some romaine lettuce, garbanzo beans, air fried cauliflower, some of these little chicken strips that I actually stuck in the air fryer too, so they're super crispy, bell peppers, and then dessert, we have two packets of sugar-free oatmeal and better than peanut butter spread. Chicken strips, huh? Chicken, C-H-I-K-N, chicken. Oh. I just call them grilled strips. Yeah. Just take out the chicken because well, there ain't no chicken in there. And we got some pizza for Matt. Look at French that. Fries. Pizza. What's this? Oh. Ooh. Where are my french fries? I found my french fries. You look insane. You make some fresh rice? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm turned out. Let's do this. Let's take my pictures. Here. Here, take them. It's not working. But, but, focus. You need to take my pictures. Take, take them. Oh. 
on that auto. <laughs> Don't look so bored. Here comes another one. Try to suck it in. Kitty's like, welcome to my lair. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? So I just wanted to record this little voiceover and just go over some of my workouts that I've been doing lately. So this day was after about a full week off. Um, I honestly haven't taken a full rest or deload week in too long. And I do that a lot. I tell all my clients and, you know, every six, eight weeks, um, a little more is pushing it. But you definitely want to take rest and deload weeks. And just to help your body recover and help your muscles and your central nervous system recover. So this was my first workout back. And basically this is just a placeholder workout until I got my powerlifting program. And so I just wanted to do some upper body. So after some time off, I wanted to focus more on chest and back. Because I think those are some of my favorite body parts to work. Especially back being so important with climbing now. And so I just went in, I didn't really have a game plan, and I did 
just what I wanted to. So you guys saw that on bench, um, I worked up my way to singles and then I failed on that 165. But to be honest, I had never done that weight to depth before. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I haven't always benched to my chest. And part of that is because of mobility. Part of that is because I felt it where I needed to without touching my chest. But now that I am going to be training for powerlifting, I definitely need to make sure that I'm touching my chest and that I'm going to be improving on form eventually and, and making sure that my butt doesn't come off the bench and all of that stuff. So a lot more focus on form. I'm going to have to back off on a lot of the weight, but that's okay because at the end of the day and the end of the training, I need to make sure and hit that lift if I'm actually going to compete. So finished out my workout with some front plate raises and more pull-ups because pull-ups are my favorite. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Please hit that thumbs up if you are. Leave some comments below and I will see you guys in a second. All right, today's task, grocery store. I need produce, I need veggies, I need things that are good for my body because I'm still recovering from Christmas treats, still. Check out dinner, you guys. It's a big salad bowl, spinach, and then we've got some sweet red peppers or sweet bell peppers, air fried zucchini, Beyond Meat grilled strips, and then of course I gotta top it off with a little gravy because a salad would be too healthy. So a little bit of gravy on there. Cream cheese cornbread and some of these Gardein loaf. And these are actually really good. Um, and this cornbread is awesome. If you guys are ever curious about recipes, just comment below um, and let me know if you wanna see recipe videos on any of this stuff. Of course I didn't make this, but. And then Matt's also got some chili, cornbread, loaf, and gravy. So. Pretty good dinner lined up for tonight. Good morning guys, it's Friday, December 29th? 30th. 30th, Friday, December 30th, tomorrow's New Year's Eve. And right now I've got this guy, he, well he's got me in the car because he's driving. <laughs> and we're going to his office. I'm gonna get a little bit of work done, but at nine o'clock I'm going to be doing a leg workout with my friend Joy. I haven't worked out with somebody in a while. I don't know, I don't normally work out with people. Is it because I'm antisocial? I don't, I wouldn't say I'm antisocial because I talk at the gym. Yeah. I just kind of get in my own thing and, and do that. I don't really like work out with other people. I don't know, but it'll be fun. Did get my powerlifting program from my coach last night. Of course, I, I looked at it and then what I had scheduled for Friday was a lot of what I did yesterday. So I'm gonna wait till Monday to start the program so then I can do legs today. I'm really excited to get started with that. Update on that, that video that I posted last week about um, weight fluctuation after Christmas. Just FYI, you guys, I still haven't changed anything. I haven't done any extra workouts and my weight's basically back to where it was before Christmas. So further encouragement to you guys to just keep doing your thing and not try and do another crash diet because you ate some extra cookies over Christmas because there's no need. We're gonna sit down and have a talk about goals very soon. So I will see y'all then. Um, I'm here in this very formal setting. Buzz right here, I don't know if you guys can see him. I'm gonna talk goals because the new year is here. I know that uh, New Year's resolutions, New Year's goals, basically you guys are gonna be really motivated to make some changes for this next year. It's a fresh start, it's a new chance to do what you've always wanted to do, enhance your life and set yourself up for the next 12 months. So I wanted to talk about goals with you guys and my thoughts on resolutions and goals and things like that. So just a few of my recommendations and tips and things that I try to embody as I carry forward with my own goals. First recommendation for you guys, set goals that are both short and long term. Usually we get an idea of vague goals that we like. So for the next 12 months, I want to save more money. Whatever your goal is, set short and long term goals so it makes it easier to hold yourself accountable. If you do want to save a certain amount of money, um, say you're trying to buy an RV, <laughs> to go travel. So rather than saying, okay, I want to save 5,000 in the next 12 months, within the next three months, I wanna have 1,000 saved. So you've got those short goals to reach toward that add up over time because it'll also keep you motivated to keep reaching for those long-term goals if you're working towards these mini goals as you go along. Make those goals measurable. So rather than having a broad goal or resolution, so a lot of people like to get healthier in the new year. Say your goal is to eat more veggies. Maybe narrow that down and say eat plant-based or whole foods two days a week. Actually something that you can measure by 
and over time you can improve on rather than having a broad goal that you don't really know how to measure. A lot of people say to get in shape. Maybe your first step can be hiring a coach or hiring a trainer. Work out three days a week. So something that's actually measurable. Tell others. So put it out there, put your goals out there, whether it's social media or with friends. Hold each other accountable. So have a goal exchange with your friends. Tell them, hey, I'm gonna tell you my goals. You tell me yours. And we're gonna follow up every month, every two months. You know, meet up every month, uh, get some coffee or get together at each other's house or whatever you wanna do and talk about your goals. Talk about how you're working towards them. Have them written down so you can see them and be reminded of them and remind each other of them. The last thing that I really encourage you guys to do and something that I really wanted to keep doing in 2017 is to be selfless with some of your goals. So completely okay and completely awesome to be selfish with a lot of your goals. So if you wanna save money, if you wanna eat healthier, if you wanna get healthier, if you wanna work out more, things like that are great but make sure and throw in some goals to be selfless. So doing things for others, especially doing things for those that can do nothing for you in return. I have a lot of goals starting for 2017 to help out with the homeless. There's so many homeless in Austin. Every time we drive by, it just breaks my heart to see them. And Matt and I wanna start a nonprofit with our RV travels. Set those goals. There is nothing like making a difference in the world that will do so much more for your own happiness than you can ever imagine. So be selfless with some of those goals. Find some ways that you can help in your community. You just do a little searching or reach out to your local representatives, anything of that sort. I promise that you can find ways to help. I hope that this little chat can get you motivated to work on some goals for the new year. I've got some that are in place for myself, including powerlifting. That's the first one that I'm gonna be working on. And of course, that's what this series is about. I hope you guys are excited. I am. That's gonna conclude today's video. Leave questions, uh, topic requests, anything like that in the description box. I always love chatting with you guys and I will see you all in the next video.